Hey YouTube, I got a quick video to you, to uh, show you guys today. Um, it's an idea that I just came up with. The other day I was talking to my buddy who was talking about, you know, different hiding places to uh, hide your valuables and stuff like that. And, you know, one of the first things that came to my mind was um, creating some kind of, uh, you know, old work box with, you know, fake front on it. That way it looks just like a normal plug. Um, to whoever's breaking into your house, but the uh, workbox can actually hold valuables such as like jewelry or money or whatever you have in it. And you know, he had no idea how to build something like that. I mean, he had ideas, of course, but he wasn't really sure, and neither was I. So, I mean, I've never built anything like this before. This is my first one. Um, I did make a few mistakes along the way, but I thought it turned out well enough to at least show you guys kind of the uh, concept behind it. Um, I haven't mounted it to the wall yet. Um, like I said, it's not really for me. Kind of made it more for him, but uh, I might make one later on if I get bored in free time. But as you can see, it's a, uh, it's a standard work box with a plug and a plate metal, which is important. I'll show you why in a little bit. And I got the longer work box so you can fit a lot more stuff inside of it. So from the outside, um, you can see back here there's this little hinge that I've put onto there. And on the bottom, if you kind of get in here, I put two neodymium magnets and kind of bolted it in here. This should have gone inside and put the flat end outside. That was one of the mistakes. Too lazy to fix it now. Um, plus, I didn't really have a flatter bolt, so I just used this giant thing. Uh, but it'll still work. I'll figure out a way to get it in there not too worried about it but yeah from the outside not too complicated and really that's pretty much the main components of it it's gonna be the hinge and these little magnets so if I open it up you can see right now being a metal plate is very important because the magnets stick to it that way I don't have to put like a little striker bar or anything like that to get it to stick to it and this has a lot of force behind it there we go. It actually, you can hear when it clicks down, it really has some force behind there. So if you're just messing with the wall plugs, you're going to try to pick at this thing. It's got some good force that it's going to take to open up. And the way the hinge is on here, you'll notice that when it opens, it's flush. So it never goes behind the hinge. So it should open up flat on the wall. So we'll see how that works out. Uh, there should be enough space to open it up to a pretty decent amount. But as you can see, inside I've got some money. Um, this is kind of a inside view. Really, you can just see the two magnets sticking out here and just two screws here. I decided to epoxy the um, hinge right to the lid. I made sure to rough it up with sandpaper first. And I just put a regular plug in here. You can see that I cut off or broke off the little tabs from this end so that it mounted little more flush in there and then that's just held in by the normal screw and that's really it so it's just a hinge on a plate with a couple magnets on the bottom to catch it and then you would screw this into your wall cut a little hole um, it is an old work box so it's got these little tabs that once you get in the wall it'll hold it in and then the little magnet will be more than enough to keep it closed and you could find a way to open it that'll probably be the hard part you could either maybe plug something into it and pry up a little bit and pull up or slip a credit card or something below it and get in there. It's not supposed to be readily accessible. It's something that's more of a hidden go-to kind of thing if you're going on vacation. Maybe you want to hide some jewelry or um, cash or even ammunition. You don't want people taking your ammo when you go on vacation. You can also modify it to hold like if you had a small gun or you can even cut out the back and make it so that the gun just kind of fits in there and hangs in. So, I mean, there's a bunch of different things that you could do with it. But I just kind of thought I'd share that with you guys. I thought it was pretty cool. Like I said, this is my first attempt at ever making something like this. So, I think it turned out really well. The hinge idea works perfectly. Once we get it mounted to a wall, I'll let you guys know how it turns out and how it opens up. But the way it is now, it should be fine. So... Anyways, thanks for watching the video. Let me know what you think. Make sure to uh, comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos. And I will be back with more content soon. See you guys later.